How was day one? That was a great day, uh, just getting out there with the fellas and uh, getting out there with Coach Montgomery. Uh, he's a real attention, attention to detail coach, so you know we all had to lock in and laser, have laser light focus today. So it was a good day. So you guys have been doing, you know, combine training for weeks and weeks and weeks now. What's it like to finally get out there and do some football? Man, it's like a relief because you know you finally be able to go out there and work on your fundamentals, uh, be with actual guys that play ball instead of you know running around and stuff like that. But uh, it was, it's just been great, you know. From there. was there anything different than you expected as you know, first first practice. Uh, yeah, and it, yeah, it's different for sure because how fast it goes. Uh, it's not like a college practice where it's kind of slower and everything. So everything's like fast, fast pace and everything. So you have to really lock in. What was it like walking in and then getting to finally put on the, the green and gold helmet and, and get out there on the practice field? It was a dream come true, man. I'm just thankful for this organization for giving me, you know, a shot and uh, being able to come here to somewhere where it's like winning. It's just like everything here, you know. So uh, I'm very blessed to be here. You mentioned in your, your post-draft interview that TJ Slayton's a, a, good, a good friend of yours. Yeah. Have you gotten to talk to him since you've gotten here and, and given you the lay of the land at all? Yeah, I, I seen him my first day. Uh, we seen we embraced each other and everything. Uh, he was heading the meeting, so I wasn't able to see him and talk for as long, but we'll see each other and we'll chop it up. Hey, Jonathan, how did that work? Because you, you said you were in middle school together <clears> with <throat> him. It, was that growing up, or did you just for a little bit of time in, in middle school? You guys were. In I want to say we was in middle school for. I want to say the whole time. You okay. Know, yeah, yeah, from sixth through our eighth grade, we was in middle school. So then you went different high schools after that, or how did that? Yeah, we went to different high schools, and uh, he was about to come to my high school, but he ended up going to another high school. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Were you? This is probably a dumb question, but were you guys playing football back then in middle school, or how did that go? I mean, nah. I know some. Yeah. We don't have a uh, football in our middle schools down south, but. Okay. Uh, I mean, we, we was on a basketball team for a while, but uh, I stopped playing. Yeah. Yeah. What's that like, both of you guys getting to live out dreams on, on the same team now? That's a blessing. Just coming from the city, you know, that we come from, uh, a lot of guys don't be able to be at this point and say they got to this point. So me and him being here and, and growing up almost together, it's like a, a dream come true just being here, you know, with him. You got a pretty good spin move watching some of the one-on-ones today. Uh, yeah, it was just a reaction thing, you know. Uh, Coach Montgomery just coaching me up and everything, so I just give it to him. And uh, I, I wouldn't say it was the best spin move, but I just got to, you know, keep listening to him and dial in to what he tells me. It worked. Yeah, it worked. But uh, I mean, it worked. That, that's why it, it worked. <laughs> for, a, for a big man, though, is your athleticism a little underrated? I mean, right away people say big guy, really great size, but is your athleticism kind of underrated because you were moving well? I can say it's underrated, but I just can say, you know, every day I, I got to just come out there and just work as hard as I can to make it better than what it is. I mean, I'm not at the best the, uh, the best athleticism right now. You know, I got to just keep working with Coach Montgomery, and we know we'll work on that and get it better. How has the nerves been just being now finally in the NFL, and then also how far along are you with that playbook? Uh, it was just exciting, you know. I mean, the nerves, yeah, it was there, but just being excited and, like, being excited for the moment. So you go out there and you want to fly around and walk throughs and everything, and you have to tell yourself, hey, we're only in walk through. So uh, just learning the playbook and everything has been a blessing because, you know, our coach, he helps us. He breaks everything down for us, and uh, he, help, he helps us understand it better. Jonathan, you played in a big-time program, but do you need a moment when you're out there to remind yourself that this is football and not make it – bigger than it is, like it's your first NFL practice, but you have to kind of remind yourself, hey, it's still football, it's the same that I've been playing since I was a kid. Yes, sir, yeah, yeah. I had to tell myself that a couple of times that, hey, you know, you're still playing the game that you've been playing since you were younger, just come out here and have fun. So that, that's my main focus right now, having fun. I know you talked about TJ, but with Jonathan Garvin too, what are those connections like having, you know, a former teammate at least? Uh, yeah, that's my brother. Like, me and Garvin, like, we like this, man. Uh, we talk on the phone all the time. And uh, it's so crazy because before I got drafted, he texted me. He was like, hey, stay focused because it was getting late in the draft. And uh, Green Bay ended up calling me. And then I texted him, like, hey, I'll see you in a couple weeks. And it was just a blessing. He was know? a seventh rounder, too. He was a seventh rounder, yeah, yeah. yeah. So being with him, uh, he'll give me some advice, give me some pointers to be able to you know, stay on my game and uh, grow as a player and grow as a person as well. Have you followed his progression much since he's been drafted in the seventh round up here? Have you followed his career much? Uh, I haven't uh, talked to him yet because he hasn't been here, but uh, once he gets here, I'm pretty sure me and him will, will link up and talk. I mean, the past few years, since he's since he got drafted, have you followed his kind of his journey? Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. We talk on the phone all the time, and uh, he always tells me positive things. I tell him positive things, and uh, 
just a great dude overall. If you could put your scout cap on, what do you think his biggest growth has been since since he cracked into the league? What, what have you seen out of him? I said his effort, uh, just watching him play on uh, Sundays, just seeing him fly around. Uh, he always had effort in, in uh, college, but just seeing him now, it's like he's more hungrier and he want to make more plays. Weight-wise, where are you at? Do you have a goal do you want to get to at some point, or, or is, are the coaches happy with where you're at? Oh, they're happy with where I'm at. I'm at a good weight right now. Uh, I mean, I'm just focusing on, you know, playing ball every day and uh, giving everything I have for this team and for the organization. Jonathan, you mentioned Coach Montgomery a lot. We've all been around him. We know kind of his coaching style. What kind of impression has he given, got put on you, like, being around him? He, he gets after you a little bit, but... It comes from a good place, it seems like, too. Yeah, it comes from a very good place. Uh, you would want a coach like that that just want to pound into you every day and give you everything you have because, you know, you come out there and he doesn't do that, then, I mean, he, it's, it's a problem. So uh, just having him out there and having him pouring every last one of us every day is just a, a great thing.